games the build I did in Willow Creek, so it's part of my renovation save while I renovated my house in Willow Creek being built on the empty lot, so yeah, um, this is just a build <laughs> from scratch, so it's not like a renovation or anything, but um, yeah, this build, it's, I thought maybe I was thinking about the title of the build, and I was like, so what am I going to name this, because I don't want to keep naming my house as the same thing. But then I just thought, like, whatever, I'm just going to name it <laughs> Craftsman. But then I looked up online the definition of a Craftsman home, and I was like, no, that doesn't make any sense for this house. So, so like, no, I, I didn't name it Craftsman or whatever. Um, but yeah, here you can see I'm struggling with the roofing a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Roofing a house to make it a little bit more like dynamic looking is very hard for me for some reason. <laughs> like it's so difficult for me to just roof a house that's actually like different from my other roofing styles. Like I, I don't really just struggle with it. I know some people think I'm good at roofing, but I still have a lot. To <laughs> I still have to make my books, you know, a little bit more dynamic, not as the same thing. You know, every time I've been trying to branch out from making my exteriors the same and making all my interiors the same now that, you know, now that I've built so many houses and renovated so many houses, um, I think it's important that I just work on making the builds a little bit more dynamic and unique, so, yeah, um, yeah. I tried roofing pieces, but they just looked really weird. I feel like that's how they look better in, like, Brindleton Bay or something, because this just looks, the roofing pieces here just look really weird for this house, and I get rid of that black thing on the top. It just looked weird. But, yeah, and I tried varying different roof heights, but I don't know, I just, it just didn't look good. Yeah, I love the front of the house, but I do wish I had done it a little bit differently, like, in terms of shape. But overall, I am pretty happy with the way this house turned out. Don't get me wrong, like, the interior is, like, spot on what I wanted to do, and I really like the interior. And there is a little pool in the back that's, like, a elevated pool that's on a foundation, and it looks, like, so cool. I don't know. It fills up a lot of the space in the backyard, but it still looks really cool. Yeah, here I am um, increasing the elevation of the pool. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tried stilt foundation. Of course, that isn't going to work. That doesn't make any sense, but yeah. So they have their own elevated pool. I didn't make a family for this house, because <coughs> 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 Excuse me, I'm still sick, so don't mind me. Um, but yeah, I didn't make a family for this house, because I didn't really feel like there was a need to make a family for this house, because I already have so many families in the state fall anyway, so I didn't want to max the sin count, or like go over the max sin count of 200 sins. So yeah, and here I'm like struggling a lot with like the... This took me like 10, 15 minutes, I don't, probably not 15 minutes, but like 10 minutes or longer, just fid fidgeting with like the, the foundations. Because I realized that when I forget, well, when I say, okay, I'm going to do the foundations later after I finish the landscaping and stuff like that, I realized that when I do that, um, it's, I just never add a foundation in the the first place. I mean, in general, I just never add a foundation, so that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I want to make sure I add a foundation to as many of my homes as possible, but yeah. I had some trees around the lot, and I think the trees really bring life to the lot. I think they like, make the build look so good. Yeah, I think I just go around and add some roofing, I think. Yeah. Or no, not roofing, windows. Or, no, I decorate the, um, the, the wallpapers of the exterior. <laughs> like, yeah, so, um, I went, for, I ended up, I, the dark brown just didn't look good, so, 
excuse me, so I ended up going for a blue and beige theme. I know it doesn't really match the stairs in the house, but I thought it looked really good in this house, and um, I'm glad I went for different colors than I normally go for. I mean, of course this does look good, the dark brown, but once I add in the windows, I'm like, no, this does not look good. So I got rid of the dark brown. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm not really upset the whole day. Yeah, so I went for a beige and blue, which I thought look, looks really nice for this house. But yeah, I, I even though it's not like a craftsman house or whatever, or I, I don't think it is, but um, I mean, you may think it is, but I don't think it is, but even though it's not like a craftsman style house or whatever, I made the interior very like brown, well not brown, but like the flooring is very like dated and and yeah, I, I like doing that for change. I usually make my builds, like the interiors of them look so clean and nice and stuff like that. But I thought I would do something a little bit different for this build, so yeah. Um, it was me just decorating the outside. <laughs> just, you know, the usual. I tried to use some chairs there that I don't you know, normally use, but it just didn't look good. So I just stuck for the movie hangout chairs. And this is an unlimited pack build, so I just kind of went all out and used all the packs, so you guys don't mind, but I do have a base game save file that I'm working on. I just haven't been working on it as consistent as, consistently as my two other save files. But, yeah. <clears throat> and I added in the laundry department. D department? Is that even the right word? I added in the laundry section here. I thought it was cool to, like, you know, add in, like, laundry, because I never added laundry. Especially for houses that, like, I design for Sims, I just never happen to have them add in laundry. Unless it's, like, a rare occurrence or something. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't add in my laundry. Um, but I'm very pleased with the size of this house. I think it's a very nice size. Um, it's not too big, it's not too small. I mean, actually, it is pretty small, but I like it. But yeah, when I got my sim to visit a lot, for s this weird thing happened. I don't know if this is because of an update, or if it's just because... I don't even know. Um, it just... I moved my sim in here, and... Well, no, I didn't move my sim in here. I, I, I traveled to this lot with her, and... And she went in the house, but I couldn't see in the house. Like, I couldn't do the go down levels. If you know what, I don't, I don't know, you know if I'm making sense. I couldn't, like, go down certain levels because I just couldn't see. In, basically, I couldn't see inside the house. But she was in the house. I don't know if that's part of, like, a glitch or it's just an update. I don't know. But it's kind of cool. They have that now if it's an update. It's kind of cool. Um, but I feel like it was more of a glitch, honestly. Like, she just really needed to, like, go to the bathroom and eat something, so she went inside the house. <laughs> and it is an empty house, so that, I guess that makes sense for the Sims, not in real life. In real life, that would be really weird, but... Yeah, realistically, I don't think there's any houses that are, don't have people living in them, unless it's, like... I don't, I don't even know, like, I just... Like, I feel like 90%, even though there's so many houses on Zillow that are available to, you know, rent or buy, there are so, like, I feel like 90%, this is just my assumption, it's not the truth, so don't quote me on this, but, like, I feel like 90% of the houses are just houses that people live in, and I'm sorry if I sound dumb right now, I just, I go on Zillow a lot because I've been obsessed with that lately, and I just look at, like, apartments for rent, and it's just fun and I like seeing all the different houses that they have for rent and apartment buildings and like stuff in like you know the inner city and and I just it's very enjoyable for me and sometimes I think oh I might want to recreate this on the sims but then sometimes I'm like nah it's not like worth it because I'm not gonna be moving anytime soon I still live with my parents but yeah um, but if I do move out, I probably plan on moving in with, or having my boyfriend move in with me 
So yeah, <laughs> I have to look what these pauses are for, but a couple pauses in the recording. Don't mind that, please. But yeah, I loved how this rug looked with that outdoor seating area, and I don't know what I'm doing here. I really don't know. I better not be like texting someone because that's totally annoying. Like when I'm building and someone's texting me, like anyone is texting me, I'm like I'm in the middle of building a house. I don't know, but it's all right. Um, people just want to talk. It's it's okay. I understand. I'm just more of a quiet person, reserved person who just wants to sit at home and play The Sims all day. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is a teen girl's bedroom. Uh, of course, I didn't make a family for this house, so I can't tell you about the teen girl. But I, I mean, you could just have a teen girl live in this house with her parents. The parents' room is the one below this level obviously it's the one that has a staircase leading up to the second floor so there are two staircases in this house which i thought was pretty awesome but yeah this is the teen girl's room and <clears throat> i think this room is lovely i just i really like it a lot in the color of how colorful it is and yeah and then they have a nursery for maybe if they had their teen girl when they were like really young, like when they were teens, they had like a daughter and now she's a teen and now they're adults and and so now they want to have like a a baby and they're designing the room for the baby. I, I mean, at least I designed the room for the baby, but yeah, I really don't like the furniture I chose for this room though. I think I was kind of rushing it. To be completely honest, I was kind of like... I just want to get this build over with, and I and I was try, I was really struggling with this room though, to make it look like unique and like it was unique to a certain parent's style or a child or a baby's stuff. Babies have like preferences. I don't even know. <laughs> Realistically, in The Sims, they don't have any preferences over like what colors their room should be or anything. But anyway. Um, <laughs> And then I think after this, I do one bedroom, and I did a cool thing with the lights here, which I thought was pretty awesome, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, here's one bathroom. I did do a bathroom downstairs, but the ba there are two bathrooms in this home, but I just don't like recording every single bathroom, because they're all the same, basically, so yeah. Um, hmm. Sorry, I just had to yawn. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm about done with this interior... Um, then we go into the screenshots, obviously, because there's no cast video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Bye!